Hi, this is Frank Warren, you're watching Lights Out. This is Fessa Khan for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. We're here in London for the official press conference launch for Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou. Delighted to be joined by former Love Island winner, Mr. Jack Fincham. Jack, good afternoon, brother. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? you okay? Very well, thank you for asking. Uh, Jack, I know you've... Um, I've seen you on Archie Sharp's uh, yeah. social medias. I know you like to do a bit of boxing work. Yeah, I mean, I had, I had about uh, 30 amateurs myself. I boxed for a, a, a club called Eltham. And then obviously, yeah, then I uh, took it a bit further and then I boxed on the, um, on the Mayor of Runder card last year, which is an amazing experience. And that's why I love coming to places like this, man, because it's, it's, uh, it's just no better sport, is there? There's no better sport than boxing. It really ain't. I mean, we've seen you box on the Floyd Mayweather on the card. You said that you've had 30 amateur fights. What can you tell us about what's next for you? I mean, we've got a whole bunch of social media influencers yeah, getting in the ring, putting fights on. I'll be honest, I, I, I need a piece of the action. I do, I need a piece of action. I was supposed to be fighting um, Aaron Chalmers, um, but he's fighting Idris now. And the thing is, I wouldn't rule out Idris either, but uh, Aaron, Aaron's fighting Idris now because obviously basically the venue um, that we'd be in Aaron was meant to be fighting at fell through. Um, and I'm away uh, next week for a month uh, filming something. Um, so, yeah, when I'm back, uh, I think we should give it six to eight weeks and I'll be back fighting again. So I'll, I'm just have a little think about who I want to fight. Idris has rang me up personally a few times and said he'd like to fight. And I'll be honest, I, I was honest with him. I said, I'll be honest, I, I don't feel like I'm ready for you yet. But I'll, I'll watch Harry get some of Aaron and then I'll, I'll make a decision again. I'll come back to it. But there's so many of them out there. Like, I could, I, I'd, I'd smash a lot of them, to be honest. Well, the top of the pile in this whole sort of crossover boxing right now has to be uh, KSI, Tommy Fury, which is a big, yeah, big fight. I was there at the press conference a couple of weeks ago. Was, that, was, it, was it a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, 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 yeah. And obviously you saw what went down on social media. I'm pretty sure you tuned in to see what yeah, happened did, yeah. in the end. I mean, yeah, what do you make of that fight? And how do you think they both get on with each other? I mean, who do you think comes out on top when KSI takes on Tommy Fury? Um, I'll be honest, right? I didn't, I didn't watch um, Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul. I didn't watch it. Um... But then I, then I watched, I think it was Jake Paul's documentary on, on Netflix, and I watched it. It didn't, it didn't do that bad against Tommy Fury. And I thought Tommy Fury was going to absolutely smash him. I didn't realise that Tommy got put over with a jab as well. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't really know. Like, I, and I'll be honest, I know a few people that sparred KSI, and they say he can hit, he can hit really, really hard. So, look, Tommy's hands down a better boxer, hands down, without a shadow of a doubt. So I think he wins it, but I, I would also say to not underestimate him and be a bit careful with that right hand because apparently he can bang. Tommy Fury claims that he is like the top of that pile so far. Mm. Is that something that might potentially interest you one day, you getting in the ring with Tommy Fury? I believe that I can do absolutely anything and with the right amount of training, uh, me, me getting my head right and sticking to, sticking to the training, training camp and sticking to the plans, I, I could fight any of them. I could fight any of them. I'll be honest, look, look my first ever fight uh, as in the pros was against Anthony Taylor, right? And, you know, his first ever fight was his first ever fight in the pros was against Tommy Fury. So, like, it was a dangerous fight to take as his last one. He couldn't get me out of there as much as he thought he was going to get me out of there. So, I, 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 I'd, I'd done better than I expected, more than people expected in that. So, listen, if I train properly, I'll guarantee you, I guarantee you I could be top of that pile easily if I wanted, if I wanted to be. The road to Riyadh does begin today. Tyson Fury yeah. and uh, Francis and Garnu. A lot of people aren't too happy with Tyson sort of going down this path, fighting a former UFC yeah, MMA business, world champion. It is business, it's business, and obviously, if it if it makes sense, if it makes money, it makes sense. That's but exactly we all want to see Fury versus Usyk, Fury versus Joshua. Yeah. But give me your thoughts on Fury versus Ngannou, Jack. Right. So I didn't know too much about um, Francis Ngannou, but then obviously I've been looking at him the last few days. He's been trained by Tyson, um, by Mike Tyson. I mean, that alone, like I would, I would be. Thinking like this geezer knows knows what he's doing. Do you know what I mean? It's Mike Tyson. Um, but for me, let's be honest. Look, Tyson Fury. I, I I can't see any heavyweight beating him. To be honest, I can't see any heavyweight beating him. So yeah, for me, I think it's going to be a simple task for for Tyson Fury. I'm not going to lie. You, are you at all disappointed we haven't seen Fury take on Usyk yet? I look, I'd love to see that. I'd absolutely love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. But um, I'm not. I'm not. I would never say disappointed. No. I mean, I think like. 
as you, as you said a minute ago, like if it makes money, it makes sense. And not being funny, and Garni's not an idiot, is he? You know what I mean? He's lineal um, world champion in MMA, so he's not. He's not. It's not like he's getting in with an absolute like, influencer or a nobody. I mean, the geezer's still a, a professional fighter, so no, nah, not disappointed. And it's going to be fun to watch because they're both going to bring a lot of energy. They're both going to. I think they're both confident. You know what I mean, of course they are. I think Garni's still confident. You know, um, so I'm not disappointed. No, but yeah, of course, in the future, I'd love to see him face Usyk. I mean, there's a lot of lot of fights to be made in this heavyweight division, but yeah. whenever I speak to people, they always say Fury versus Joshua rather than Fury versus Usyk. Given how big no, both I, are, I, I think I'd, I'd rather see Fury versus Usyk. I think he, he, I think the Joshua ship sailed. You know what I mean? He'd he done all that before when he was gonna, you know, giving the deadline to sign and things like that. So um, I think that ship sailed, and he and he beats him ass down for me anyway. Um, yeah, I would like. I just, yeah, I, I, this one I do want to see. I ain't gonna lie, I do want to see it. Jack, before I let you go, who are the three potential opponents we could see you in the ring with next? Well, actually, let's change that about a bit. Who are the three guys you want next in 2024, or even st even throughout the last few months of this year? Um, Aaron Chalmers, without a shadow of a doubt. Aaron Chalmers. Um, Idris Virgo. I'll have him. I'll have both of them, too. Um, and do you know what? I want to fight Andy Taylor again. Because I worked, listen, I, I had a lot of ring rust to shake off when I, fought, when I, when I boxed him last. Um, it was a bit of like uh, messing about with the weight and stuff. Uh, so yeah, and I think this time around now I've got back in the ring and I've shook, shook it off and I know what to expect. So, I'd, 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 so yeah, I haven't charmed as Idris and then I want to fight Andy Taylor again for sure. Jack, really appreciate your time. Thank you very much for talking no way, to Lights man. Out and hopefully look forward to speaking to you in the future. Take care, man. See you later.